A shortage of truck drivers continues to impact supply chains across the U.S. News 5's Andrew McClung explains how local leaders hope to bring some relief through new legislation and programs. Getting supplies right now continues to be an issue. Product uh, stuck at in-between points, and a lot of it tracks back to the lack of CDL drivers um, across the country. Virginia Delegate Israel O'Quinn recently had a bill signed by the governor to help encourage more people to get a commercial driver's license. The bill would also spark discussion by government agencies about possibly removing regulatory and policy hurdles. One program that has been adding drivers on the road for the past six years is the CDL training program at Virginia Highlands Community College. It's growing in popularity. Robert Phillips is the dean for workforce training at the college. He says there are plenty of opportunities. We have uh, national and local companies that want to come talk to our students about uh, employment opportunities when they finish the program. Students, folks that want to drive are not having any trouble finding employment. Certainly Virginia Highlands and a lot of the other community college programs are filling a huge void right now. Um, and, and they're a crucial part of being able to bridge this gap. One of those students ready to get on the road is David Rowe. I've seen a lot of it on TV, people asking for CDL drivers, and there's a big people wanting us, so I figured come get my license and give it a shot. The program taught by Whit Morrison has two options, a weekday course offered for four weeks or a weekend course offered for eight weeks. I tell the students to, about halfway through the class to start contacting some of these companies, and I've got students going straight out of their class, they go test, and the next week they're, they're driving. In Abingdon, Andrew McClung, News 5, WCYB.